Hey everyone, welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Today is an exciting day. Well, any day that UPS brings radio gear to your doorstep is an exciting day. We are checking out the brand new SkyBridge Hotspot from BridgeCom Systems. Let's open the box and see what we got. I am so excited to open up this box. Let's just take off this tape here. It looks like the first thing we have inside of the box is we do have some instructions. It does say, please start here. It looks very serious, attention. Um, very important that you follow these when you get to your hotspot. Uh, this is gonna give you some great video tutorials to get you started, so make sure you pay attention to that. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be the 3000 milliamp hour portable battery pack. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Looks like we have a micro USB to a car adapter here to power your hotspot in the car. And it looks like this is the fancy new BridgeCom SkyBridge hotspot. Oh, that's kind of a cool box. And also, this is the plug and play package they sent me. So yes, a brand new Anytone 878 Plus also in the box. Let's crack these things open and see what BridgeCom is providing. Now, the plug and play package from BridgeCom is actually really, really cool for ham radio operators that are looking to get into DMR for the very first time. What the plug and play package will do is they will ship you the SkyBridge hotspot and the Anytone radio and they will pre-program them for you um, at BridgeCom. So they will make sure that the radio and the hotspot are already set up to work together. They will test them and then repack them up and ship them out to you. That way, when you get it, all you have to do is plug in your hotspot, get it on your internet, on your local network, turn on your radio. There is a preloaded code plug already built for you to start with, and boom, you're on the air. So let's first start with the SkyBridge and see what's actually in the box. Let's move this stuff out of the way and take a look at the new SkyBridge. So this is a pretty fancy box, I will have to say that. Um, this is not a toy. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. And here it is. This is the new SkyBridge in all its glory. Uh, the first thing that sticks out to me as someone that's built multiple hotspots is this is a really nice case. Uh, this is in fact the same kind of case that I use on my hotspot, which is designed by a company called C4 Labs. C4 Labs makes these acrylic cases and it really does turn your hotspot in to a proverbial tank. You'll notice it does have the 1.3 inch OLED display. Uh, that's going to be really handy for seeing information like names and call signs, but more on that a little bit later in the video. Uh, this is actually powered by a Pi Zero uh, down here on the bottom. This is actually the brains of the operation, if you will, the small microcomputer. And up on top, this board you see, that's actually the radio itself. Um, hence, it has the antenna port here. This is powered by a 32-bit ARM processor. Uh, fairly powerful. Uh, it also is compatible with DMR, D-Star, YSF, NextGen, and P25. So this is not just DMR, folks. If you have another digital radio, you can totally use this hotspot with it. And not only that, it actually does support cross-moding. So if you want to go, say, to DMR to uh, YSF or DMR to NXDN, if you have friends on like the YSF network for Yezu, you can actually talk to them and bridge over from DMR to YSF, which is really, really awesome. This is a dual-band hotspot, so it is UHF and VHF. The beauty of that is you can actually use both of your time slots on your radio and monitor two different slots at one time, which is super handy. This does have 10 milliwatts of output power. You may be wondering, okay, so what does 10 milliwatts of power get me in terms of range? Well, if you have one of these bad boys, uh, this will absolutely cover your entire house. It will cover probably your entire property unless you live way out in the country. Uh, I live in a suburban area of the Twin Cities metro, and I can tell you that I took a walk. Uh, I had this just sitting up here on the ledge. Um, this will support about, eh, I would say four or five houses down the block uh, in range. So figure, you know, maybe seven, 800 feet away, uh, and then I start losing it. Granted, this is almost in the basement at ground level, so not exactly the best place to put it. Now this does come with Pi Star installed. Uh, right down here we do have the micro SD card that does have the Pi Star firmware already set up to go. And again, they set it up for you at BridgeCom. Uh, Pi Star is probably one of the most popular uh, firmwares for DMR and hotspots out there. Uh, it's open source and it's easily upgradable. So the beauty of this versus say maybe an open spot three at this price point is if you wanna just get started, 
make life easy. This is a great choice, but you still have tons of flexibility and tinkering you can do later on once you get more familiar with DMR. The open spot, as an example, it's pretty simple to use, but that's all it is. You really can't do much tinkering with the open spot. This is easy to get up and started, but again, you have tons of flexibility if you want to play around and tinker down the road. All right, so what else is in the box? Let's have a look-see here. Open this up. Uh, here we have, it looks like the uh, power adapter. This is going to be the power brick we're going to use. This looks like we have our Ethernet to micro USB. That's good. This is our antenna for the actual hotspot. And it looks like we also have an Ethernet cable that we'll use to hook this up to the network. Now, this does have Wi-Fi on board, and Wi-Fi works pretty well with Pi-Star. However, in my experience, if you can hook it up to Ethernet, I highly recommend you do. It just makes everything much more stable. So in addition to this, uh, there's also a couple other accessories we have to talk about. Uh, this also included is a car adapter to micro USB. So you can plug this into your cigarette light adapter or accessory adapter and power your portable hotspot in the car because you can use this on the go. A lot of people will hook their hotspots to their Wi-Fi hotspot on their cell phone and use their cell phone's internet connection to connect to the network. So you can be on the go mobile using your cell phone as a modem uh, to access the network so this is allowing you to you know not chew up your battery and this is kind of a nice addition as well they did include a 3000 milliamp uh, portable battery pack as well as part of this package uh, so if you want to take this on the go camping uh, maybe you're going to be off the grid for a couple days this will power your hotspot i've used them all day long and it's powered it just fine so again this will allow you to be able to go really portable with that cell phone uh, where you won't have to have to be attached to your car so that's a really nice great thing they've included so let's actually put this hotspot together. Now, it does come fully assembled, fully ready to go. All you have to do is power it up and plug the antenna in. So let's get those things done. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out my antenna here. This is a dual band VHF and UHF antenna. So I'm just gonna screw this onto the antenna port. I'm also gonna grab my micro USB to ethernet adapter here. I am going to use Ethernet for this just because, again, I think it is the most reliable way to uh, get these hotspots on the network. That's just been my experience. Uh, Wi-Fi, I've used it a ton. I've totally taken my hotspots out and about on road trips across the country, and they've worked well. Um, I have no complaints. It's just, again, I don't want to have any interference because I have a lot of Wi-Fi stuff in my house. Uh, <laughs> we probably have, oh, I don't know. 30 different devices on the network. So if I can just avoid one more thing on the network, that's a win for me. So I'm gonna plug this into the micro USB here on the bottom. If I can actually get it in there, there we go. All right, I'm gonna plug this into the outlet here down below. And the last thing we have to do is get this thing hooked up to the network. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the adapter here, plug in my ethernet, and I'm gonna plug this into the ethernet switch here behind the hotspot. Okay, so we've got the hotspot plugged in. We've got it connected to ethernet back here for the internet. And now we are gonna wait for it to boot up. Now notice in the lower left-hand corner, we do have a power symbol. It is an orange LED light here on the board telling us that it is getting power. We just have to wait a moment for the uh, hotspot to power up and you will see it say MMDBM and startup on the screen. So let's go ahead and wait for that to appear. All right, now that we have our SkyBridge booted up, let's go take a look at that Anytone radio and get that thing out of the box. So here is the Anytone, and if you don't have an Anytone radio yet for DMR, um, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Uh, if you're using a TYT, a Redivis, something else, um, it, truly, Anytone is the best DMR radios on the market for ham radio, bar none. Um, and I have no affiliation with Anytone whatsoever. Um, they are just fantastic radios. In fact, you can see mine sitting up here uh, that I use. That's my 878, and this is an 878 that they've sent. Now remember, one of the beauties of this plug and play package is Bridgecom is going to set up your radio and your hotspot to work together 
before it ever even reaches your doorstep. So you don't have to worry about doing all of the programming and uh, all of the pulling out of your hair that I had to do uh, when I first got into DMR because it can be a little confusing to get started. There's no question that once you get started though and you're on the air, you're gonna have some learning to do still. Uh, it's not like you could just uh, ignore how to use DMR at that point. You could, but what's the fun in that? I mean, you wanna learn code plugs and hotspots and how all this stuff works, right? Like that's what we love to do uh, as ham radio operators. But this is gonna get you going and, and started super, super fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the antenna in here, screw this in. We're gonna boot up the radio. And as mentioned, uh, they did already put in my DMR ID number. Oh, look, they even put a nice little welcome screen in there for me. And they did preload a code plug that Bridgecom had custom built. So you turn on the radio, you'll notice there's stuff in here. And not only is there stuff, take a look at this. If I click the talk group list button, there's 458 talk groups. That's insane. You pretty much got everything you can possibly think of in here uh, to use. So these are all different rooms or talk groups, if you will. Uh, here's every single state in the country. They've got all those programmed in there. Uh, they have the ones that I've created for myself. Uh, they really did not leave out hardly anything at all. So if it's on the Brandmeister DMR network, it's in this code plug. So here's the real test now. Uh, this plug and play package, this radio should be set up to work with the SkyBridge as it sits right now. So what do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think so. Uh, so let me go over to, uh, let's do Minnesota and see if we can find somebody over there for a quick test to see if this is all working as it should. So there's Minnesota. Let's go ahead and click that and then click select contact. Okay, that is now selected. Let's give somebody a call. K0LWC testing, a new hotspot here on 3127. Anyone able to hear me, uh, let me know if I'm coming in okay. This is K0LWC on 3127 Minnesota State. All right, awesome. KE0ABR from K0LWC. Thanks so much for coming back, Nick. Uh, just got a new hotspot here on the air, testing it out, making sure it's working. Uh, you're sounding great, and uh, everything I assume is the same on your end. Let's take a look at the screen here. Pay attention to the OLED screen. Notice how you got name and call sign on both the radio with the preloaded database that they put in for you and on the OLED display on the hotspot. Well, very good, Matt. Well, I said that sounds like a nice breakfast or brunch. We had some uh, pancakes ourselves this morning. And it sounds like a nice way to start the Saturday, if you ask me, and certainly some uh, beautiful weather out there. All right, I'm going to back on out of here. I just want to do a quick test as I uh, keep on uh, playing around here with this hotspot. But thanks so much, Matt. I appreciate it. Enjoy your uh, your brunch, and I'm sure I'll run into you again here on the air. I'm out here pretty often. So 73, thanks again for coming back to me, and we'll catch you again. K0LWC, Maple Grove, Minnesota, 3127. All right, so I'm just going to turn that down. So you'll notice that when I was talking, I got the name and call sign and the location. In this case, this is wrong, but this is Matt, but he's using someone else's radio, Nick, KE0ABR, but that's on the screen as well as the hotspot. Uh, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, you can use it on the OLED display in addition to the radio. So who should buy this package? Well, this is a great, great setup for a ham radio operator that wants to get on the air with DMR quickly and easily. Now, we all love a tinker. That's what's great about ham radio. What I love about this package is it's still 
a Pi Star Run hotspot that gives you the flexibility to play around and tinker and change settings both on the firmware side and even on the hardware side if you want later on uh, that allow you to experiment. Uh, some other hotspots in this price range that are very easy to use, you're kind of locked in and they're just made to be easy. There's not much else you can do to them. Uh, there's not much flexibility in modifying them. That is not the case with this one. This will get you on the air fast and still give you flexibility down the road. I also must mention, it's really important because Bridgecom has tons and tons of videos and articles to help you get up to speed in using DMR. That is truly one of the great things about this package as well. Bridgecom is not going to leave you blowing in the wind. They will provide you all kinds of video tutorials through their university where you will be able to learn everything you need to know about DMR. And you got a 1-800 number. You can just call them direct if you have questions or problems. Um, it really makes having somebody there for you, uh, you know, really, really nice when you're getting started on DMR because it can be frustrating at times. I've been on DMR for seven years and I still have a ton to learn. It's not something you can pick up as easily as analog. So Bridgecom with their fantastic support and the fact they're giving you a hotspot that will allow you to get started quickly, but at the same time experiment later on is really a compelling package. If you're interested in this hotspot, check the link down below in my description uh, where you can find the link to buy this package right now. There's limited quantities at the beginning, so if you're watching this right now in the end of the summer of 2020, uh, get on it now. Uh, if it's later, they probably have it in stock. But again, there are a limited amount right now, so jump on it if you want one. Thanks again for watching. If you like this review, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll catch you again next time.